today is episode 100 of the vlog. And I was thinking, oh, I should do something really uh, over the top for a video for this. And then I had a late gig last night and an early morning today, cause you know, kids. Your pancakes, sir? Yeah, a little bit hot. How are they? Good. And I thought, so what? It's just a number, it's another day. Yesterday's subject was a little on the heavy side and I'm gonna come back to that. Got more to say on that subject. But today I wanted to concentrate on just some purely musical stuff. I got a new piece of gear and I get a lot of questions about the pedals that I do and don't use, microphones, stuff like that. I don't use much. It's an extraordinarily uncomplicated setup and I'm gonna show you that today. Motivated by the fact that last night I was testing out some of this gear for the first time at the club and Yannick was there with his camera and happened to capture um, some sound checking going on with me and Ruslan where I was using the microphone and the other pieces of equipment. So I thought I'll show you that and then I'll show you what the heck I'm using. <laughs> I get a lot of questions about what microphone I use in a live setting and also about effects pedals. And I just got a new microphone and something new for my effects pedals, so I wanted to show you. Um, for a long time, I've been using this. This is uh, made by Line 6, and it's a delay, delay stomp box delay modeler. As you can see, it's pretty old, pretty beat up. And it's, um, you know, these things are always coming off, actually. It allows me to have three presets, one, two, three. And there also is a loop function, which I rarely use because um, it, you have to be so precise with it. And if you're playing with a band, you know, and the drummer doesn't have in-ears, like, it's sort of like, forget about it. However, there is a video on YouTube of me playing um, a song of mine called Summer Light, where I do use this loop. <laughs>
part of the problem with this is that the signal coming in from the saxophone gets a little bit diminished. Like the more notes you add to the loop, so like if you add a fourth note, then the first one gets a little quieter. And if you add a fifth note, then the second one gets quieter, so on and so forth. For a long time, the microphone I've used is this ATM 35. Uh, let's see, AT8, 532, whatever. But I just got a new one because it's time for that to be updated. And here's what I got. It's basically the same thing, Audio-Technica, as you can see. Um, I'm hoping I, that I didn't screw up and that it is what I'm hoping it is. By the way, this is a great company, Sweetwater. If you ever need to order audio equipment, they have great customer service. So this mic, uh, ATM 350A, let's see. All right, there is the microphone. Okay, that is the actual, there's no microphone in there, rather that's just sort of like the, the clip. The microphone will go in there. Probably this is, what, the microphone itself? Yep. So there's the actual microphone, and then this is the part that what I'm hoping is that this is gonna replace that. And this took a nine volt battery and this was the power source. So I'll just stop using this thing. Okay, I don't need that. This takes care of the power, I hope. <laughs> and then these two will go together. And now, if I need it, I'm now, I have the microphone that, which goes into a power adapter, adapter which comes out XLR, goes into the XLR to quarter inch thing. And now one more piece of the puzzle. I just got this thing, this Voco Loco, and I don't know much about it except that my buddy Bob Franceschini swears by it, and it's supposed to basically even out, like, it's supposed to make it easier for the gain structure. It's intended for vocalists, but instrumentalists that aren't guitar players, to, it's, it's a mic preamp that should allow me to get a more even gain structure with my, with my effects pedal, uh, or even without it, I would think. Um, because it has, it just has a, a mic preamp built in. So yeah, that's, that's basically that. I'm taking that band into the studio this coming Thursday. Very excited about that. And yeah, a hundred episodes. Uh, if you're just tuning in, there are 99 prior to this one. You might want to check out. And if you've been with me for a little while, thanks for watching. Thank you.